Hi, this is Gunnut 226. Uh, looking, we're gonna look at this uh, Cree flashlight today. I bought this off of eBay, and I wanted to take a look, evaluate it. And it's the S A I K S A 15. Now, the uh, reason I bought this flashlight, why would I buy it? Well, the reason I bought it was to replace some of my older technology flashlights. Um, I have a couple of mag lights that I really wanted to replace with something, um, something preferably not something like this, my like my Phoenix, because uh, these flashlights are rather expensive. Um, they run anywhere from forty to sixty dollars, depending on where you get them. They are really worth it, but um, for something I use maybe every day, or I just want to stick in the drawer and uh, pull it out when I need it, it's going to get banged up. That's not really what I want to do with that flashlight. Um, so this is a different different reason that I want to use it for. This is something I want to keep like in the kitchen, in a kitchen drawer, or just something I want to use when I need it. Um, so that's why I went with a cheap little $3 flashlight. I'm going to evaluate it, uh, see, if it's, see if it really fits the bill. Um, it's not really heavy per se, like a Maglite, because a Maglite takes uh, two double two D batteries. Uh, so hopefully this will this will work out better. Uh, the construction is basically the the same as a Maglite. Really, it's uh, it's a metal metal housing. Um, it's not cheap plastic by any means. It's uh, really nice. I'm sure it came straight from China or Hong Kong rather, is uh, where it was shipped from. So uh, the construction does seem pretty it's pretty sturdy, pretty durable little guy. It has a couple different options that I really like about it. Um, so I mean, like you can see, the construction is pretty decent. Uh, has uh, nice threads on it. Uh, you can see direct access to the to the LED right there. Um, all the electronics and everything. It's all right there. No, they're not hiding anything right there. So that's a little bit different than uh, other other constructions that I found. Uh, more like the uh, the Phoenix, right? It's a if you take the head off of this guy, it's pretty much all sealed. It's a sealed head. Um, you can't really see anything in there. You can see electronics in the back, uh, but that's pretty much it. So. Um, here's go. We got some knurling here in the middle, and uh, that's good for some grip, I guess. It's it's a uh, kind of grippy. Um, this part over here is smooth, and you have some. Not really sure why they put this on there, but uh, usually they they would put something uh, with these flat pieces to keep it from rolling. But um, as you can see. It doesn't even really touch the table, and it still it still rolls everywhere. <laughs> so it's not really helpful. Um, the pocket clip does keep it from rolling too far, and uh, the pocket clip seems kind of nice. Not that I would really carry it in my pocket per se, um, but it's pretty pretty nice. Uh, it's got a nice lens cover on it with a strike bezel. Um, not that I plan to use this in any tactical situation, but. Um, it's 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 there. It's also got some fancy things around here. It's just for decoration. I don't see any function fit form or function. It's just a uh, decoration mainly. Um, back here, it might provide some additional traction um, if you're holding the flashlight. Uh, it does come with this lanyard, which is not too terrible actually. Um, it's got a little slider on here to adjust it. You can put it around your wrist and uh, so you, that's kind of nice. Um, it is a push button operation. It has one mode and then you soft tap. You can get a second strobe mode out of it which is a kind of interesting little bonus for this price level flashlight. Usually it's just with a click and you're done. And uh, you soft tap again, you're back to uh, one mode, which is uh, well, kind of interesting. Um, the uh, brightness, there's no specification on the brightness. Uh, right now, 
the way I have it configured, there's a couple different configurations, um, which uh, goes to the versatility of this thing. Right now it's riding with uh, two AA batteries. Um, you can see brightness is pretty good. Uh, let's compare it to my my Phoenix E01 um, flashlight. Give it some extra lighting. Uh, this is this is rated at 10 lumens, my Phoenix, and you can see this Cree just blows it away, which uh, I guess would expect with two double A's to one triple A battery. Um, the beam actually looks pretty decent. Um, you can see the little Phoenix E01 is uh, has more of a purple beam. And this uh, new guy is more of a white beam, maybe bluish, uh, potentially. Let's take that light off. Um, so yeah, it's it's a pretty nice, pretty nice beam compared to the Phoenix now. Um, kind of impressed with that. Usually Phoenix has some good stuff, but it does have a, a, a center a center obscuration or a center uh, spot rather, not an obscuration, but it's it's more dense in the center and then it has more of a halo on the outside um, and then it has an external halo on here and even further um, so I don't know if that's uh, really preferable or not it seems to be doing pretty well uh, I like it um, like I was saying, there's there's also another configuration that it can go into. Right now it's in double A uh, configuration. Um, one of the other criticisms I have about this light is the batteries. Um, because it has a configuration, um, in order to keep the battery from rattling around a lot, I had to tape the end of the battery, basically. Um, if I didn't tape the end of the battery, I think I have another battery here somewhere. Uh, here we go. If I just put a regular battery in there and uh, put it back together, you can really. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really rattling around in there pretty good. So, yeah, that's that's one of the downsides um, that I'm seeing about this flashlight right off the bat. So uh, if you have some tape around, it's not a problem. You just you just put some tape on there, and it's uh, pretty. It doesn't rattle around, so that's fine. For a three dollar flashlight, you can't really expect much more than that, right? <laughs> um, also, I also had to tape this one a little bit to keep it from rattling around in this part of the barrel. So uh, it's not as a. Uh, it's not as good as you would think. Anyway, what I'm doing now, I'm taking the flashlight apart into the three components. There's the tail cap, there's the center body part, and then there's the top body part. Now, the thing that I, one of the other selling points on this flashlight was, you can reconfigure from two double A's to one CR-123. You put that in there, and you put the tail cap on, and you've got a little flashlight. And I think this is really cool. Alright, now you got a flashlight. Another flashlight. Bam. And this one you could actually probably carry as an EDC flashlight. Or you can actually carry it in your pocket. You carry it around. Has Everything's exactly the same. The battery actually fits in there a lot better. So, hey, this is cool. I really highly like this flashlight. Especially for the $3 that I paid for it off of eBay. Uh, I don't know who the seller was. I don't know what auction number, anything like that. You guys just got to go out there and search for it. But you know what? This is a great flashlight. I will maybe give you an update uh, after I've used it for a little while. I've only had it for a few weeks. Uh, but so far, so good. It seems to be holding up pretty well. And it's the, I believe this is a high-value flashlight. Um, even though I have to, uh, for the double-mode operation, which I, I typically use... Um, I do have the rechargeable uh, 123s, as you saw, um, but I don't always be recharging those, and these are just a lot easier to get a hold of, the double A's. Um, so this is what I the, the main mode that I use it in, in the, when I take it and I just stick it in the kitchen drawer 
and pull it out when I need it. I don't care if it gets banged up or whatever. Um, but it's a it's a really nice. Anyway, that's all I have for now. I will uh, let you know. Thanks for watching.